Hi guys and welcome to a new video. So this is probably the first time that I show you my face on this channel. So this is basically a small face reveal over here and I'm also going to change the structure of my videos from now on. So I will always make an intro like this one here and after that we are always going to the main part of the video. Right, so today I got the Galaxy Note 4 with me. And, you know, this phone was released in 2014, okay? And this means that this phone is almost four years old. And even though this phone is so old, it's still a beast, okay? It's a really, really great phone. So last year I made a video about this phone while I was installing Android Nougat on it. And this video got 600,000 views, okay? So first of all, thank you for that. And this year we are going to do something similar. This year we are going to install Android Oreo on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, so stay tuned for that. So right guys, so let's start with the first um, part of this video line, um, the installation, right. Um, to install this Android Oreo ROM on your Samsung Galaxy Note 4, um, there are a couple of things which you need to do first. Okay, the first thing is TWRP, so you need to install TWRP on your Samsung Galaxy Note 4. If you don't know how to do that or if you haven't done that already, you can watch some other videos on YouTube showing how to install TWRP on your Samsung Galaxy Note 4. So you can't install this ROM without TWRP and you don't need root, so please don't ask Ask this question in the um, comment section down below okay you only need twrp and the rom file itself and you can download the rom file from the description of this video right after you've installed twrp and after you've downloaded the file on your phone you can turn off your phone then you will need to um, to boot to the to the um, TWRP recovery. To go to the TWRP recovery, you need to press the volume up button, the home button, and the power button at the same time. And then you need to release these buttons when you see this logo over here. So the first thing which you need to do here in the TWRP section is to go to the vibe option over here and click on advanced vibe and select devlic system data and cache then you need to swipe to vibe and this will basically vibe all your apps and all your settings from your phone but the internal storage will still be there so you won't lose your data but your um, apps and everything else will be gone okay then um, go back to the home screen over here and go to the install option now you will need to locate the rom where you have stored it so um, in my case it's in the internal storage over here and this here is the rom it's called lineage 15.1 so this is android oreo 8.1 and um right after you have selected the file just swipe to flash and this process um, could take like one or two minutes, you just need to wait. So as you can see over here, the installation um, was successful and um, now you can also go back and install the gapps if you want. So you will need the gapps to get the Play Store and any other Google stuff working on your phone. Um, so unfortunately I haven't downloaded them, but you can download the gapps from the description of this video and install them um, in the same way you've installed the ROM. So just select the gapps file and swipe to flash. Right, after this is finished, you can go to the reboot section over here and say reboot to the system. 
then TWRP may ask you to install the TWRP app. Here you will need to say don't install. And as you can see the phone boots up now. So this process could also take a few minutes since this is the first boot. So you don't need to worry here. And this here is also the Lineage OS boot animation. So the Samsung branding or the Samsung boot animation will be done. And this is basically replaced. Um, yeah. So you'll just need to wait until the phone boots up. So as you can see, even though the um, even though this was the first boot over here, the boot time was uh, pretty fast. Um, so now you need to set in your pin. So let me do that quickly. And here we go. So as you can see, this is the lock screen of Android or Android Oreo. It's basically the same, like an Android. Um, like an Android Nougat. You got your um, shortcuts here and your notifications and your clock and so on. This here is the new notification panel, this uh, white notification panel. And yeah, so on the old video, on the Android Nougat video, everybody has asked me if the S Pen is working or if it's uh, not working. So as you can see, the S Pen works just fine over here. So there are no issues with the S Pen. And as you can see, it even has a pointer over here just like in touch with, which is really amazing in my opinion. And yeah. And everything else is also working. So you can see the buttons are working fully. Um, as you can see, the SIM card is also working. The mobile data, it says LTE over there. Bluetooth is already on. So let's turn it off. It's also working over there. The um, Wi-Fi is working, which is also really amazing to see. So um, the camera, so let's try to take some camera shots um, from here. So here I got um, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. Let's take out its case here and let's try to take a picture of it. So as you can see, the camera is not the best. So you will never get a, you will never get the best camera experience on any AOSP ROM for Exynos devices or for Samsung devices, this year is a Snapdragon device, sorry. But the quality of the picture looks quite okay. So as you can see, um, it's not blurred and it's really sharp for a 2014 phone. So um, I'm not quite sure, but video recording may not work on this ROM. So let's try this here. And as you can see, it says could not start media recorder, can start video recording. So this is probably the only bug in this ROM, um, but you can definitely use another another um, video recording app and it will definitely work right. So as you can see, the ROM is uh, really smooth over here, so it hasn't got any um, any performance issues. And as you can see, it also has got a it, it has also got a new animation when you press on the recent apps over here. So this is also a really funny thing. The uh, multi-window thing should still work just fine. As you can see, even the camera is working together with the uh, multi-window. Okay, it has just crashed over there, but um, the multi-window is working just fine. So let's try it with some other apps over here. Messaging and phone, for example. So you can call someone and you can message or send a message to somebody else. So this is a really funny thing over here, in my opinion. Um, yeah. So as you can see, the ROM has also got a few um, new icons or not a few new icons. All of the icons has been changed. As you can see, even the settings app is different. So these are, I'm not quite sure, but these are the new Lineage OS icons. I'm not pretty sure because um, you know, the standard AOSP icons they look a bit different and uh, yeah but the apps itself should be the same and um, so on right the battery life is of this ROM is quite okay it's you won't get the best battery life on this ROM um, 
but you will definitely get one full day since this phone has got a quite big battery and yeah so let's talk about the other bugs which are presented on this rom here so there are a couple of bugs which i forgot to mention so um we have a small graphical glitch sometimes on this rom especially in the notification panel sometimes there's a small glitch on this um date over there the color doesn't match with um, the header the color of the header sometimes but as you can see right now it's um, just fine and this um, bug also appears really really rare and the other bug is the fingerprint scanner so the fingerprint scanner won't work together with this rom so here in the security and location tab over here and uh, here in the screen lock menu um, we don't have the fingerprint um, available there so you can't set up a fingerprint and you can't use your fingerprint to um, unlock your phone which is I mean it's not a that big deal breaker because this phone hasn't got a really good fingerprint scanner you know you need to swipe your finger in order to unlock and it's you know it's not that necessary on this phone and uh, yeah this should be it if you want to watch the full review of this video you can check the video of uh, my brother and uh, yeah peace out